Joel Hickerson, Grindog.com. Today we're going to learn how to draw a rose in barbed wire. First thing is you try to get uh, a nice dynamic shape that you want. So start with the bulb of the rose, which is kind of an elliptical shape. Stem, which kind of falls, maybe similar to an S. Okay, and what we're doing here is we're using our pencil um, to get our basic construction elements. Um, I start with a pencil to get the shape you want. Uh, none of these lines matter. Don't worry about erasing. Uh, we're going to come back with a marker and uh, finish the line work. Okay, so we've got the stem shape. And then on the other side, we'll do the barbed wire, which maybe it contrasts with the stem um, of the rose. The barbed wire kind of goes in and out of itself. All right, and wherever it comes together, sometimes you run into the barbed wire itself. I don't need to do overkill, even though there's probably more barbed wire, more barbs on a barbed wire. Just pick the shape, or pick the barbs where you want to put them, so it doesn't get um, too cluttered. Okay. And you can cover up the barbed wire every now and then with a leaf. Okay, and once you get your basic construction elements in, and like I said, don't sweat the details when you're doing the construction lines. Come back with your Sharpie. Just pick the lines that you want to use on your finished art, like your rose. Finish out the shapes. The petals kind of fall away from the center on a rose. Makes it a little easier to draw that way, almost like peeling an onion. Don't be afraid to use dark shapes or dark shadows. Actually, you might enhance the dynamic uh, dynamicism of your drawing. All right, come down with your rose stem to where the barbed wire actually crosses it. Remember, barbed wire has two strands of wire. All right, so finish the wire. Throw in a couple leaves on it. Maybe put one barb to where you can really accent both the wires and the barbs. That's pretty much it. Then you need to come back in and you can add your shading uh, wherever you think you might want it. But the one thing that you want to kind of contrast is the softness of your rose here at the top versus the harder edge of the barbed wire. And there you have it. And that's how you draw a rose with barbed wire.